Hello and welcome to Tomorrow's Headlines. Today I'm your host, Robin Cunningham with Fireside Grace Ministries, and I am so glad to see everybody here. So this is going to be a pre-recorded message, and I have it titled as An Attack on Oil Prices. So we're going to go ahead and roll the intro, and we will jump on into this. <music> All right, welcome back. So we have some news I want to cover here for you guys. Um, we are filing for our tax-exempt status. I know some people don't agree with that, but that is what the Lord told us specifically to do. We originally thought that he was telling us not to, but then he came and rebuked both Brandy and I separately about it. And so we <laughs> had to repent, and so we're doing that. Just goes to show, guys, you know, you can hear God, and you can be, oh, you know, prophetic and, and accurate and everything, you know, but there can still be times where you can hear wrong, and it's okay to be human and admit these things. This is something that we've been practicing with you all for years, you know, since we've been start. I started this in 2020, doing the Tomorrow's Headlines today, and I've I've gotten things off. I've been off base in the past. Uh, you know, the, obviously with the whole Trump overturn and all that stuff happening, and I thought it was going to be 2021, and it didn't happen to be 2021. And you know what I did? I owned it, and I ate it, and I repented of it because we're human, and it's a good thing to do. It's a good thing to say that. And the Lord deals with us, each of us, like that. He deals with us. Are we going to be straightforward and say, hey, I got it wrong. <laughs> it is what it is. I'm human. Or are we going to pretend like that didn't happen, something changed, it's somebody else's fault, not my fault? Let's be real. Let's be human, right? We make mistakes. Nobody's perfect. It doesn't matter what a great person somebody is. Everybody has their mistakes. Because when we get in front of Jesus and we see him, the first thing we know, everybody knows, is that we do not deserve to be in heaven. We know exactly how wrong and how wicked we are and we know we don't deserve to be in heaven. But you know what? He doesn't remember that. He doesn't know that because he paid the price and erased all of our debt so that we could go to heaven. So that there's no case against us in heaven that can't be found. Period. Praise God. <laughs> so I'm working on scheduling an interview with Brian W. Melvin, and that is going to be Quite an interesting interview. I've read his book, A Land Unknown, Hell's Dominion. Um, it's life-changing. And if you haven't read it, I highly recommend that you read it. It has made me cry multiple times and filled me with great compassion for people. And, you know, <laughs> you got to read it. It's just good, that's all I can say. So, also, we have to... Um, to tell you, we, since we're applying for our 501c3 status, that does cost money, and that's going to cost us about two grand to do that on top of the bills that we already have to pay, you know, vehicle payments, rent, um, employees, our overhead costs to keep everything going and everything. Obviously, you know, just because you become a ministry doesn't mean that you're suddenly, you know, debt-free or whatever, right? We've been working to get debt-free, but it's been hard because the devil nickels and dimes you as much as he can. So if you'd like to help us... <laughs> Um, become a 501c3 so you can actually get your um, donations as tax write-offs at the end of the year. Um, that would be greatly appreciated. We're going to apply. We're going to try and backdate as much as we can, at least for this year, so that hopefully we can. Um, and, and I don't know if we're going to be able to, but we're going to try to backdate at least this year's donations so that everybody can get um, – their tax write-offs at the end of the year. So hopefully, you know, keep us in your prayers. Uh, that's that's the plan. The quicker that we can file, the 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 better. So just putting that out there for you. Keep us in your prayers. If, if you want to donate, you can donate. Um, I'll just put all of that information right there. If you'd like to just be a monthly partner with us and help support us to keep this thing going, help, uh, you know, do all the things we do for homeless people, um, for single moms, for mothers, for uh, church family members, for people who are in need in general, 
then you can donate firesidegrace.com backslash partner with us. You can find us on PayPal as at Fireside Grace or Reformers, Reformers Church with no apostrophe because we don't believe in apostrophizing around here, even though our title is apostrophized perfectly <laughs> and uh, so forth. But anyway, all of that right there. So let's go ahead and jump into the tomorrow's headlines today. So yesterday, while I was taking a shower, the Lord came to me and he came up from behind me. I was, I was facing the wall. He came up from behind and spoke to me. I could feel his presence, and his, you know, there's nothing like the presence of God. You know, devils try and imitate this, but they can't get it. You know, they can't get it right. There's nothing like the presence of God that um, can compare. And also, there's nothing like the voice of Jesus. When you are Jesus' own uh, sheep, when you hear his voice, you immediately recognize his voice. I, I can't even explain it to you. I, every time I hear his audible voice, I immediately know it was Jesus. And he speaks a lot. I hear it often, mostly because I listen. It's like when people say, oh, I wish I could hear God as well as you can. And I'm like, well, try listening. You know, people are like, oh, you, you have such accurate prophetic words. And I'm like, thank you. I appreciate that. But that's because I listen more than I speak. <laughs> I speak to God. We have communication. You know, we go back and forth. God will answer you. God answers you differently than Jesus answers you. Isn't that interesting? They're the same being, but God answers your questions differently. Jesus answers questions one way, and then God answers questions another way. And a lot of times when you ask them a question, they'll give you an explanation and then they'll give you a question to follow up to make you think, and that gets you hunting and looking into things and researching things. And they do that because they know that you know you find joy, or I find joy at least, in looking up things instead of just being told things straightforward. And then there is a time when he'll speak to us straightforward, but we have to practice listening. We have to practice dialing down the world and turning up the Lord, right? All right, so anyway. While I was taking a shower, the Lord came and he spoke to me and he said that I need to pray for North Korea and South Korea because we're about to see an escalation and tension between the two nations. And the Lord uh, specifically told me to pray for Korea, and North, uh, South Korea and North Korea and to have all y'all pray as well. He, was, <laughs> he actually said, I need all y'all to pray as well. It's funny that Jesus speaks in your... Uh, whenever I've heard Jesus speak, he's never had an accent. The only place I've ever heard Jesus have an accent is on TV. He speaks, I've heard him speak in multiple languages, and he speaks that language fluently and perfectly with the exact grammar, um, how you would say something in your dialect, in the region, the area you're in. He says it perfectly, exactly, so you can understand it. There is no confusion in it. It's amazing. Right? So he said we need to pray. He did say that Korea will become united once more, but he didn't say in what manner that that would happen. So we need to pray because I felt like, and this is my own feeling, this isn't me saying this is what the Lord said, this is my own feeling, but I felt like what the Lord was saying was that it could go either way depending on how we as the body of Christ pray. Now, we have people watching this from every single nation in the world. So if we can get at least one person from every nation praying, that's someone in every part of the world, then I believe that we will see a unified effort where South Korea and North Korea come together as one and that North Korean communism ends. And that will be a huge blow to that red dragon to the north. Okay, and you know who the red dragon to the north is. If you don't, just do a little research on what people believe about the end of days. And I'm not saying that the red dragon's the Antichrist or anything like that, but um, <laughs> I'm just that's just what I felt in my heart to say was the red dragon. All right, um, next, the Lord said a new space race has begun. Massive amounts of taxpayer dollars will start being funneled into technologies that help pe propel us into space. No pun intended. Um, the into space, the moon, and further. But this will be a cover up to release top secret technology that we have already had for decades, and we will see a rapid progression of technology in this time, even in the next few years. And a lot of that won't just be coming from America, but you'll start seeing Israel partaking in the space race. You're going to the Lord just said Iran's about to have a nuclear weapon, and you need to pray to stop that because there will be war when Iran announces they have nuclear weapons. There will be war immediately pursuant to that. Um, so we need to pray about that. 
right now. Lord, I pray right now that you go into Iran, send people into Iran right now to stop everything they're doing, whether it's obvious or not obvious, however you're going to do it to prevent war and stop them from getting a nuclear weapon in Jesus' name. I also pray that you move on behalf of Korea and remove communism out of there now in Jesus' name, that they will be united without war in the name of Jesus Christ. All right. Um, And so anyway, some of this technology will be coming from China. Some of it will be coming from Russia. Some of it will be coming from Israel, some places in in the continent of Africa, not just, you know, uh, South Africa, but different places. America, a couple places in Brazil. It's going to be like a worldwide phenomenon thing where people just start coming out with this new technology, and it's not really new. But all of this is tying into things that we are going to see start manifesting here Um, And I felt like within the next five years, we were going to see a drastic change coming in the sky, and that within the next five or maybe a decade or so, there's a chance that we might be in World War III, and that will change everything. But the Lord's saying that World War III won't last long, but it's something that we do need to pray if we want to put it off. All right? Um, So that's within a decade. I don't know if it's within this decade or if it's sometime between now and, uh, you know, 33, but... This is something that we very need to take very seriously, and we need to pray, because history repeats itself. If you've noticed the pattern of major wars in America, it's about every 20 years we, we go into a major war, and then we never come out of it, but it always seems like we go into it, right? Um, anyway, next, the Lord showed me that the Ukraine would be caught smuggling firearms that were given to them by various countries, including uh, America and the United Kingdom and that they would be selling them for personal gain, not to benefit their country. And then we would see that many countries will reduce um, or uh, pull back their aid from the Ukraine. So you may not see it in the news, but when you see the amounts of money coming down from the Ukraine, because this might be, I believe that they might try and cover this up, um, but I don't know. I'm just telling you from what I'm perceiving in my own spirit. Um, and it says the spirit of the prophet is subject to the prophet. Isn't that interesting? So what I'm seeing in my own spirit is that they'll try and cover this up, but you'll see that, oh, America's decided to pull back funding from Ukraine. U- UK's decided to pull back funding from Ukraine because they're trying to keep um, their hands from getting dirty, so to speak. Their hands are already dirty. Their hands are already in the pot. Um, and you're also going to see come out very soon that Nord Stream was America, and Russia is going to straight up say it was America, period. We have conclusive evidence that America attacked Nord Stream. That's something that you need to pray about also, because that could be the catalyst to World War III as well. Okay, so this is all great news, right? This is such a, uh, this is a headline that's just full of great, good, happy news. Um, let's see, next, the Lord said... Uh, He showed me that China would begin positioning ships near Taiwanese borders, declaring that it was nothing more than war games. However, America will start doing the same thing because we'll see Chinese aggression beginning and America is going to say, you know what, this is the one place that I'm going to stand up for, Taiwan. Okay, so when you see that happen, they're going to say it's nothing more than war games, but it is actually much more than war games, and they're just pulling a Russia tactic. Uh, We'll call it a a tactic Putin, all right? (laughs) as in they put in things where they don't belong. Anyway, um, this will be leading to them making more threats about nuclear war. Now, here's the thing about that. They start out just threatening, and what happens is they hype themselves up that they're actually going to do it, and they end up doing it. There will be kind of like sanctuary parts of the world that aren't affected by nuclear war, but there will be several parts of the world that are drastically affected by nuclear war. And some of those places will be in America. Some of those places will be in Europe and in Russia and in China and in parts of Africa. So this is something that you need to take very seriously and pray over. All right. Uh, Let's see. The Lord showed me that China and Russia were going to strike a new gas deal where Russia would be uh, um, selling uh, natural gas and oil to China. And then I also saw that around that same time, China would suffer a great setback as their own Central Asia China gas pipeline. I th- that's what that's what I heard it called uh, the Central Asian Chinese gas pipeline is what I heard. But I looked it up and it's called Central Asia China gas pipeline. Um, the name seems quite redundant, doesn't it? It's not like um, you know, like the Nord Stream or um, you know the the Gulf Surge or something like that. It's it's 
such a redundant name. There's so many words in it that <laughs> you don't need to say, it seems like. But anyway, um, at that same time, that gas pipeline um, would be creating issues with delivery of the gas, driving up prices of petrol. Now, I felt like there was some explosions, some line bursts, something like that. And it caused the price of everything to go up and that the price to live in Hong Kong is already exorbitant and it went up really high in Hong Kong and that in um, uh, the capital, wherever the capital is, is of China, Beijing, that they would be affected by it greatly as well and they would not be happy about that. So they would try and blame other people and say this was obviously sabotage and we're going to figure out who did it and all of that stuff. So there's that. All right. Um, that's going to cause the gas of price to go up. The price of gas to go up. You're about to see corruption allegations coming from the SEC, and you will see several people stepping down from their roles in the SEC, um, relatively unexpectedly. Like, oh, there's allegations. There it'll be some people who are accused and some people who aren't. But then suddenly they step down and walk away and like, oh well, you know, I'm just going to go move to Morocco or Greece or something like that, where there's no extradition. Or whatever, you know, but then they have to live there forever. And also, if you work with the government, you can still get extradited sometimes. Anyway, <laughs> that's something that we're about to see. And I had a feeling that this came about just after the XRP case was settled. Um, I have a feeling also that the XRP case is going to be soon. Like, this, I can't tell you that this is Holy Spirit speaking to me right now. But I have a feeling in my gut that it's this year. But I'm going to pray about that and um, seek the Lord on that because it will be exponential growth when that happens. But it might not look like it at first. All right. Um, let me roll our quick little video here from our sponsors, us, to invite you to become monthly partners with Fireside Grace and all of the benefits that it includes. I recommend that if you can't read it, pause the video for a second and just read the benefits that you get because it's a lot of great benefits. And you can be a monthly partner for as little as $5 a month. It can be a one-time donation of X amount. And then you say, hey, this is you know $12. It's a dollar a month. Um, a dollar a month for 12 months for the whole year. Can I become a monthly partner? You send us an email and say that's it. And we'll send you a link to our Sunday night meetings and so forth. All right, so let me roll this for you. You stop, pause, take a look. Remember to like and subscribe, share with your friends, get the word out there and all that good stuff, and partner with us. Um, so let's roll that, shall we? Okay, welcome back. I was watching the video play, and it comes back, and I'm like, <laughs> stone-faced. Like, I've been told that I have a, um, I think I'm not going to maybe use the acronyms, but there's a there's a letter. that's It starts with an R. It has the second letter of the alphabet, and then there's an F in there. But I've been told I have that kind of face when I'm not smiling. I'm like, <laughs> I just look mean when I'm not smiling. And that's probably partly why I smile so much, because I've been told that several times in my life, so I just try and smile. But even when I smile, I look a little bit sinister, don't I? It's like... I can't lift up my left eyebrow. <laughs> Got it a little bit. I can't do it. I don't know how The Rock does it. He's like... So yeah, I can look... Squint and be all weird. <laughs> anyway, back on to the news before the news. Tomorrow's headlines today, shall we? Um, I totally lost it there. So <laughs> Brandy bought these snacks. Uh, they're cauliflower uh, snacks. They're like dried cauliflower with salt on them. I just can't bring myself to eat them because I can smell the farts through the bag. And <laughs> I'm like, ain't nobody going to eat these fart flowers. So... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I'm telling you that, but I just thought, you know, take a little attention away from the ease, um, from the awkwardness of me trying to find something, right? All right, so let's see. Oh, here's one. The Lord said a new set of articles of impeachment are coming. 
He did not tell me who it was going to be against, but at least in my soul, I feel like it's against Biden. But who knows? Who knows? You know, they brush everything under the carpet with this guy. So if God's going to do something, God's going to do something. But I'm going to tell you, he didn't tell me that it was going to be against Biden. Um, so, but in my heart, I want it to be because I want him out of office. I want him to be saved so that he doesn't have to go to hell and suffer and be tormented for the rest of eternity. But also, I don't want him to be in office anymore, okay? Like, maybe God has picked a new person. I felt like the Lord was telling me that Trump was going to run for office with Carrie Lake uh, as well, so that should be something interesting. Okay, next. Did I tell you already that I was shown that there would be another attack on the Nord Stream? a second attack on the Nord Stream, and this won't be good. So this is something you need to pray for because that will cause the price of oil to go up as well, which means your gas prices will go up. And that's why I put the title of this as an attack on gas prices because it seems to me that the amount of things that will be happening that affect oil prices is a lot in this um, particular prophetic episode. So it's something I feel like we need to be mindful of. Maybe we should pray about these things. Maybe we should pray that these things don't happen. That's the whole purpose of tomorrow's headlines today, is not to just tell you what's going to happen. I'm not some kind of psychic or anything, but this is prophetic intercession so that we can pray and intercede. Like, remember maybe a month or so ago, I had prophesied and said there's going to be a big explosion somewhere in uh, South, uh, Southern, I said Southern America or South America um, on the Gulf Coast, and that could drive the price of gas up to, you know, up to a dollar a gallon higher, right? And we prayed about it in the show that it would be caught, stopped, and it wouldn't affect gas prices. Well, <laughs> that happened like a week later. And there was a big explosion of like, I don't know what the name of the oil company was, but it was right down. It was in on the border of Texas and in um Mexico as well, and it was one big facility that went like that, and it was right on the Gulf Coast. So I believe that we prayed and we changed that, and what happened was we prayed that the price of gas would go down and not be affected, and it went down like 20 cents a gallon after we prayed, and then that explosion happened. So I believe that if we pray, we can change these things, if it's things that are bad. The good things, we still want to come to pass. We stand on it. We declare it will happen. And we do that, all right? Okay, that being said, I also saw an explosion of like an oil rig or an oil refinery or something like that um, in the Gulf Coast. <clears throat> Again, that actually costs a company. I felt like it was something to do with Exxon, uh, billions of dollars. So we need to pray about that because if they lose billions of dollars, you know what they do? They don't just say, oh, we just lost a few billion dollars in sales. No, they go after you, after your pocket. Because why? They know that you need to buy gas. Okay? All right. And last but not least, the Lord said, pray for Kentucky. We are praying now and that we are thwarting another trans-related shooting, that it will be stopped before it happens. So I declare that to be so. It will be stopped before it happens right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Okay, well, thank you everybody for watching. I'm so thankful that you were here with us, that you could be a part of this. I look forward to uh, seeing you again in the very near future as we go over our next teaching. And, uh, you know, I think that's about it. So, until next time, love you guys.